good in wet t-shirt though. <laughs> Hi, welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Sean, I'm chill. and it's really hot outside yes. today, so please excuse the sweating. Now, we are doing a video on the five things we hate about the Bronco. These are five minor things. There are certain things that we knew coming into it that we planned on replacing. These are things that we didn't really expect when we bought the vehicle. We knew when we first started looking at it, this vehicle in particular, but it's not something to keep me from buying the vehicle itself. It's just minor things that we have to fix that are kind of a, an, annoyance. an annoyance at the beginning. Something why they couldn't fix it or why they couldn't do something different. Just like, say for instance, take your significant other. Nice. Now, you know, you gotta have those little annoyances you have to deal with. Like, say for instance, they might eat the pizza crust first, or they're always on the phone, even during important conversations and everything like that. Or when they're mad, they use your toothbrush to uh, clean the grout in the bathroom. No, that you said it, that's not a bad idea. We're getting new toothbrushes, so I'm gonna hide mine, lock it up. Anyways, so before I get beat up for the numerous people for Jeep or Bronco that actually sit there and go, well, you shouldn't have bought that, or you should have bought a Jeep, you should have bought this. These aren't things that actually would keep me from buying it. They're just annoyances that kind of stood out to me that other people might not know or might not realize. If you don't realize them, I'm sorry. You probably can't look, uh, look at the vehicle without seeing them anymore. Like our antenna. So I'll hand you to Jill. <laughs> now, right here we have a Ford's love of the 1980s antenna. I don't know why they keep doing this. This is the same thing that my Bronco or my uh, F-350 has. Same antenna, same style. I don't know why they can't put it into the windshield like a lot of other vehicles, like her Fiat. Mm -hmm. I know why they can't put it in the, the shark fin antenna, like her Bronco Sport. Obviously, removable roof, you can't do that. This right here is the only thing I questioned is because you make an off-road vehicle and you put a antenna on it that catches every limb, every branch that comes through. Going forward, it doesn't really make a big difference because it's never going to hit the window. It's when you go backwards that you can go release it and it can possibly damage your window or damage your vehicle itself. Not that you're really worried about damaging the vehicle because if you actually do a off-roading, you're going to get scratched up, but you definitely don't want to break your window going in, uh, going through the woods. Yeah. The next thing we have, you have a nice grill painted carbonized gray you have all the black in the back but these three spots and this spot right here is actually shine through to the primer uh, under the vehicle so you can see these spots right here everything else is actually blacked out they made it on purpose this right here they didn't i suspect it's because of manufacturing they can't really stop and paint just this area black on every vehicle it's actually going to slow down the process and obviously right now the last thing they want to do is slow down any process on the bronco because you're probably not going to get it for a longer time now with that we do have a fix we are going to end up taking the grill off and and painting it ourselves we'll show you how that's done in a later video we are going to fix all the issues we have with the vehicle it's just issues that we have to fix that'll actually uh, take some time. So let me take you inside and show you the next one. Okay, the next one right now is actually, we are inside the vehicle. Now, this right here is the biggest issue I have, and it might seem kind of silly until you drive into the sun. And the reason I say that is for whatever reason, they made these stickers on gloss material. The reason that's significant is because when you sit where I'm at, right here, this right here, the sun will reflect off of this, off of the uh, hood and into your eyes. If you try to lean down, if you try to lean down, it will actually reflect off of here. As you can tell, 
my finger is reflecting that. Now, this is the only vehicle I've ever seen that actually has this as gloss material. Every vehicle I've ever owned has either satin or matte finish over this. That way it keeps it from reflecting. I hope they actually replace that with the uh, matte material later on. We will see. I, I hope they will. We're gonna end up getting some matte finish clear and actually cover these up, including the one on the passenger side. We're gonna take care of this and show you exactly what we do to fix that problem, especially if anybody else sees this. Now, this is my normal seating position, and since I'm going to be the passenger like 95% of the time in these vehicles, the Forerunner has a grab bar or a grab handle right here, also known as the OSHA handle, but it's right here, whereas the F-350 that we have has one up here, which I don't use for obvious reasons. But then the one in the Forerunner I always use right here. This is lacking because the airbags are in this pillar and obviously safety trumps comfort and when it comes to making a vehicle. So this is my normal seating position. I have a grab handle right here, but it feels like my right shoulder is going to get dislocated at any moment. And then if I sit forward, I can still grab on, but it's not necessarily comfortable. And I also have the one right here. So we do have a fix for this on top of the bar that will not interfere with the airbag. So stay tuned for that one. Let me see the mic real quick. So one of the reasons this is a big deal to us is because if we go off-roading, she's going to be bouncing around and stuff. These seats do not have like huge side bolsters on them. And the fact that Jill is a very small girl, very lightweight, she doesn't actually sink into the seat as much in fact i barely tripped the airbag sensor on the forerunner she doesn't trip the sensor except for when she has the uh her purse in her lap that's it so she is very lightweight uh she doesn't stay in the seat i wish i could get six point seat belt harnesses that might be an option for the black diamonds also as a driver you have this to grab a hold of as a passenger, you have nothing. There's nothing up there as comfort-wise, like this. Say normal, normal driving, normal uh, driving conditions, like on the road. Off-road, I can see because you're going to be grabbing a hold of that, looking at the views either outside to to help the driver. But as a normal seating position on a day-to-day -day road trip, this isn't going to work. So we do have a solution. We do have some items coming. Again, we will fix all these issues in videos and uh you'll see them later on so the next one so the next thing we have we have the speakers in the back now if anybody's looking at getting the speakers or thinking that they're going to actually get a high performance speaker out of these uh no you're not gonna so they are four inch speakers there isn't enough room to actually fit a five and a quarter i've actually pulled that one off right there I pulled that one off and actually it's extremely tight. You're not gonna fit anything bigger unless you modify a completely new box for that. Now they do have a light, they do have a speaker bar that goes all the way across that will actually perform quite a bit better, but it is an $800 option through Ford themselves. I don't think I'm going to go with that route. I think I have other solutions. I do have speakers on order that I actually just got recently and I will install those again at a later video. I wish they would have came out with some kind of six by nines or at least a six and a half, but these speakers are just paper speakers. They're nothing special. They're not anything. They're the cheapest speakers you could probably find. So that'll be a biggest uh biggest improvement for the audio is actually replacing these rear speakers now again they are very inexpensive to replace say for instance 50 bucks for a pair or less and you can have considerably better sound rather than the paper speakers they have that would be better so with the with the stereo in the back, they do have a B&O stereo that you can get 
as an option, but that comes at a higher package, which costs a considerable amount of more. We didn't go that route, obviously, because this is with his default Bronco that really wasn't specced out for anything other than just default. They forgot to spec it out. That's why they didn't want it. That's why it became available. And that's why we bought it. And one of the reasons we bought it is because we want to see what we can do with a default Bronco and no options whatsoever. These are some of the things that would have been improved on different models with different packages. But this one, again, just comes with the standard package. There's really nothing we can do with it other than modify the vehicle ourselves to suit us. Every vehicle out there has a problem with it. Everybody sits there and, and can see something about the vehicle you don't like. And before making a comment, go look at your vehicle and tell me if you love everything, every about single it. thing about it. If your vehicle is perfect. And when I'm saying that, look at your vehicle. If you've tinted your windows, it wasn't perfect. If you've changed your rims and tires, it wasn't perfect. These are modifications that we want to do to make the vehicle perfect for us. Everybody has different tastes. Again, I see some other vehicles and I, I absolutely love what they do, but that vehicle wasn't bought that way unless they bought it built. We're not buying a built Bronco. We're building our Bronco. That's what we want to do. And that's what this whole video and this whole channel is about is doing stuff ourselves and making the vehicles that we want with our own hands. So please like subscribe, hit the notification bell. Hope to see you next video and stay tuned for all the fixes we have for these. They're going to be interesting. We also have a lot of modifications. You'll see Monday. Bye.